Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. Prepare yourself folks, because here's five things I think you need to know about Kitty Cataclysm. Kitty Cataclysm is a game in which you're trying to get the most meowny into your kitty. On your turn, you'll play a card and follow what it says, sometimes giving you meowny, sometimes affecting your friend's hands of cards, and sometimes there's a cataclysm or a catastrophe. The game ends if you've no cards to play or the deck runs out. Thing one, what's this game all about? Well, clearly it's about cats, but superficially so. Really, this game could have been about anything. However, there's lots of humour and wordplay injected into this card game, and it makes it kind of cute, hilarious, and very unusual. Um, there are other games similar to this one, but I think it's the cats that really make it stand out. Thing two, mechanics. Well, mechanically speaking, this is a pretty simple card game where your strategies derive from deciding when is the best time to play particular cards. It does play very smoothly, although I'm a little bit dubious about the value on certain cards, but I think it'd be great for new players. This game is quick and fun, a little more than that. Thing three, on the table. Well, Kitty Cataclysm doesn't take up a lot of space. You know, it is a card game after all. Um, but I do love the fact it comes in such a small box so you can really take it and play it anywhere. Its table presence, however, comes from this tableau or kitty that you build, where you get to lay out all your beautiful cat cards in front of you. It's pretty easy to pick up and learn. The rule book was very good and it takes about 10 minutes for two of us to play. And I really appreciate that the game has a definitive ending. Replayability wise, the game kind of reminds me of a deck of cards because you're going to see the same cards again and again, but you'll use them differently each time you play. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, Kitty Cataclysm is certainly unique and it's a game that's full of personal touches. It has a style all of its own and I think you really need to be on board with that um, to really appreciate and enjoy the game. The component quality here is very good and the cards are nice to play with. Overall, I think this is a game that's going to draw you in from its art style and its theme. Thing five, is this game any good? Well, I'm not going to lie, Kitty Cataclysm isn't my sort of game, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate its value. It's cute, it's funny, and it's a little bit rude, and I think it'll appeal to a whole host of gamers. It's also very reasonably priced, will fit very well on a shelf, especially if you're just starting out your game collection. Not to mention the fact that I think this makes a great group game, and one that's very easy to teach, and one that's really fun to play. Um, and of course, cats! Do I think you should have Kitty Cataclysm in your collection? Well, if you want something fun that's easy to play and super unique, then this is a game you should be looking at. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not click on the subscribe button below to hear about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Kitty Cataclysm, just ask. Yeah, just ask people, it's that easy. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care, everybody.